All you chicky babies, cool cats, greasers, and motorheads. This is Iris, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this adorable ponytail, which can be used in the style of rockabilly or pinup, but you can also make some variations or some changes to make it look like an everyday hairstyle, and I'll show you those variations in this tutorial. If you are interested in seeing the way that I created this hairstyle step by step, please continue to watch this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off by creating a square section right here where my bangs would be and this is going to be right in between the arches of my eyebrows depending on how thick your hair is. Then I'm using a curling iron to smooth out what is going to be my faux bangs or my faux Betty bangs. Once I have it nice and curled then I'm going to clip them in place until they cool off. Then I'm going to take the rest of my hair and I'm going to put it in a high ponytail, smoothing it out with a bristle brush and adding some either hair serum, gel, or pomade. Um, you want to use something that isn't going to flake but is going to add a lot of shine to your hair. Once you have the ponytail in the position that you want it to be, make sure that there aren't any bumps, smooth it out as much as possible, and then pull the ponytail through the elastic ensuring that you do not move the ponytail from the position that you want it to be. So be really careful, don't fuss with it too much. Um, once you're done pulling it through the elastic and you make sure that it is nice, tight and secure, then you can go ahead and make sure that it is in the position that you want it to be. Then I'm going to take a little bit more pomade, smooth it through and I'm going to comb it through to make sure there aren't any bumps. You really want the ponytail to look very sleek and shiny. Then I'm going to start working on curling the rest of my hair. Now the reason why I didn't curl my hair before is because I didn't want to pull the curls through the elastic and then maybe risk messing them up. So I'm going to go ahead and start curling them as they hang um, and a, as a ponytail. So as you can see here, I'm using a curling iron and the reason why I chose to use a curling iron is because it really smooths out the hair, but you can choose to use hot rollers. I just tend to have a lot of flyaways and using a curling iron really helps tame them a little bit more than if I were to have used um, hot rollers. I'm going to do this to the rest of my hair and let it cool off. And meanwhile, I'll just daydream about my heartthrob. Hmm. Once they cool off, then you can go ahead and release them and you should have some very smooth and shiny looking curls. You can choose to use hairspray or anything like that to make sure that they set or stay in place. Then I'm going to go ahead and tease right under um, the hair or right behind the ponytail. You can also choose to add dry shampoo or hairspray. I didn't use either, I just kind of left it natural. The more teasing you do and the more hairspray you add, the more volume your ponytail is going to have. So now I'm going to be working on my faux bangs. You want to add just a little bit of pomade to smooth out the flyaways. And curling it from the tip, you're never letting go of this curl, you're just continuously rolling it up toward your bangs. You're not going to spread it open until you position it right at your hairline. Then you can insert some bobby pins to hold it in place. Make slight adjustments and try not to fuss with this area too much. Then go ahead and continue to smooth out. Remember I mentioned how important it is for this to look nice and smooth. Now we're finished. So this is what the final outcome is like. It's very flowy, very flirty, and definitely something very fun that you can use for every day. You can also try these optional looks, which I will show you in a little bit. But all I did here is I just added a bandana. You can also choose to add a ribbon for more of a sock hop type of look. Um, it's very adorable, very youthful. You can also choose to roll your bangs back so it gives it more of a pompadour sort of look and it also keeps the bangs away from your face if you're not into the Betty Page bangs type of look. So just pin that in place and add some hairspray to make sure it stays. And um, smooth it out of course. And this is what that will look like. It gives it kind of like a pinup, rockabilly type of look, but still keeps it really simple and keeps all the hair out of your face. 
like so. It's all going to depend on your preference. Everybody's different and has different um, taste. If you remove the bandana, then it kind of gives it more like an everyday look. Something that you can maybe wear to school or something like that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please leave me a nice comment and stick around, subscribe so that you can see more of my videos. Also, if you haven't chosen the option, please make sure to ask YouTube to email you some of my videos so you don't miss any future tutorials. Thank you guys for watching.